Hello, Paul is the best for UK here. Happy Wednesday and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Now today's game is a game called Oliver and Company. So I've never heard of this one. So uh, I haven't enabled the set floppy drive sounds this time because for some reason, whenever you touch, I've played this game a little bit and whenever you, uh, whenever the game makes a sound, it starts off the, uh, the motor on the floppy drive. So it can get a bit annoying on the emulator. So I've disabled that. Anyway, so yes, it is loading. And there it is, Oliver and Company. Now, it's a game I've never heard of before. Uh, maybe based on the cartoon series. I'm not quite sure, because I don't think I've heard of the cartoon either. But yeah, this is a dog and a cat. Nice sort of music there and sampled speech. Nice artwork on the game. Looks okay, looks apart. So uh, let's have a look at this one. So let's start the game. I'm going to make the screen a bit bigger as well. Because uh, it is quite small, isn't it? Let's make it a bit bigger there we go so uh yep let's uh have a look at this one let's start the game oh this is disney okay so i'm surprised i've never heard of it being disney so let's go for english that's it selected it okay consult the color chart in the box and type the number corresponding with the color of the space okay so this is some sort of protection scheme but i think i've got the pirated version of this so it should do it so we've got a choice of baby and top level so i presume that's a difficulty setting so i'm gonna go for baby okay so let's wait for the game to load here yeah. so hopefully everyone's having a nice uh wednesday evening so far um or wednesday as, as a whole so far um it's nearly the weekend again you just about to see the horizon the weekend on the horizon just about if you look really far into the distance and uh yes so let's uh look at this game so uh just wait for it to load Is it going to load? There it is. Okay, so here we are. So you're playing as this cat. Can collect these things. Whoa, watch out for these guys. Ouch. So they do kick you out of the way. That's not very nice. Right. Can you jump on this? You don't seem to be able to jump. Oh, you fuck. A skateboarder just went into the cat. Oh, you, you fuck. Yeah, so graphics it looks okay it's got nice detail environments it looks it does look okay to be honest with the graphics there's a few sampled speech as well such as the dog barking and stuff but unfortunately there's no in-game music i think the game would have suited a bit of in-game music to be honest a bit lazy on the programmers part there mm -hmm. i think right okay i don't know what you're collecting is it sausages it looks a bit like it oh you fuck I just lost a life now. You do get energy bar on the bottom left and then you get three lives. Pizza. Pizza parlor. Whoa. What happened then? Okay, so we've got food and company here. I need to try and get past this bloody dog and this man. It's always the same man and the same sprites that come through. They're always spawning all the time from the right. But the game's a bit uh, dodgy. It's a bit um, lacklustre. Uh, it doesn't play that well. It's quite annoying when you keep bouncing off the baddies like that. Wonderful. So it looks like I've collected my quota of sausages or whatever it is, and then we're on to the next stage. So we wait for level t this stage to load up, and hopefully we'll let's see what we got with the next level. Just wait this a little bit longer. Okay, so... Okay, so now we're in some sort of circus building by the looks of it. Oh, you can turn the TV on. That's kind of cool. So what do I have to do? Collect all these bones? I'm not quite sure. And every time the bone hits you on the head, you get some more points. So I must be doing it right. Don't tell me we've got to wait for 18 all that time to run down. That's going to take ages. Unless there's just a certain quality of bounce you get. This is a bit of a boring bounce stage, actually. It's, it's really boring. The bounce moves slow, you move slow. There's no music. It's just so boring. I think you've got to try and stop the dog from getting the bounce on the left. You can actually jump on this as well, on this level. Oh, oh, we done it. Oh, thank goodness for that. We don't have to wait for the time to run out. Because that would have took ages. So, on to the next level. I think that might have been like a bonus stage. 
If not, then they're just trying to make different levels on the game. But it's still pretty crap, to be honest. It's not the best Amiga game, that's for sure. It's probably not the worst, but this is quite a disappointment of a game, to be honest, for today's game of day. Uh, it doesn't play very well, and it's quite slow. It's quite tedious. Now music. So we're uh, on to this level here. At least it's got a bit of variety with the level design. So it's some sort of above view now. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Do we have to kick this? Whoa, what happened then? I think you've got to try and stop stop that from happening somewhere, but I have no idea how. There's no sort of explanation of what you've got to do. Try and push the dog out the way. It's not working, is it? Try and push him out the way this way. I have no idea what you're gonna do on this level. Okay, so that was a quick look at the game, and I'm gonna give this one a mediocre six out of ten. It could be better. I suppose it could be worse, but yeah. Good graphics, or reasonable-ish graphics. Um, now in game music, and quite slow and tedious, and not that much fun to play, unfortunately. So uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. Have a pleasant rest of your Wednesday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.